Nicey Murphy was destined to be a pioneer missionary. As a little girl, the only girl with four brothers, her mother provided missions, books, and magazines, which fired Nicey's imagination and her sense of call to ministry. About the time I was ready to graduate, the idea struck me, hey, I haven't planned anything <clears throat> for my life the rest. What am I going to do? Most of the girls married local boys and settled down, had families. Some went off to school. I hadn't planned anything. But I went to um, a youth camp that summer out in western Panhandle. <clears throat> and when the um, preacher gave the invitation, I went forward feeling that the Lord was leading me in some way into full-time religious work. In 1956, Colorado Baptist contacted Nicey and offered her the position to be the first Women's Missionary Union Executive Secretary of Colorado. Just three years later, she penned these beautiful words describing missions in this great state. Colorado Missions is ministering to souls who live in the midst of mountain grandeur, but who never lift their eyes unto the hills from whence their help might come, who enjoy God's placid lakes, tumbling streams, and majestic waterfalls, but who have never drunk of the water of life, who shepherd the sheep on a thousand grassy hillsides, but who do not know the Good Shepherd, who reap the golden grain from the fertile plains, but who are starving for the bread of life. On April 1st, 1975, the Executive Board of Colorado Baptist General Convention recognized Nicey as a person who exemplified a life dedicated to missions and created the Nicey Murphy Offering for State Missions. And part of our plan of work is to create in our churches an atmosphere where people can hear and respond to God's call to missions. And if we keep that as our, our purpose and our focus, then I think our future's gonna be bright.